What's up guys, Jimmo here again with Refinish Network and today we have a very exciting video. I'm going to be spraying a Jeep quarter panel, well I think it's a Jeep, uh, I know it's a quarter panel for sure, but it's definitely going a black metallic, I know it was PXR which is a Chrysler code, and I have my helmet cam mounted here so you can have a first person look at this job, so it'll be like you're doing it, but uh, only I'm the one that's actually doing it. So what I'm doing right now is spraying it with just air and uh, wiping it down with a tack rag to remove anything that might have landed on it while I've been puttering around getting ready. I've previously washed it down with a degreaser and a waterborne cleaner. So now that I've popped my gun on here, I'll give it a little test spray on the wheel. Yeah, the paint's flowing and bang, I'm going to start off by hitting the offsets first, so the inside of that quarter and then just cover my primer, trying to maintain around a 50% overlap. And this little spot on top. Now this is the hardest part for me, finding something to do while this paint flashes off um, to keep yourself from painting before it's ready. It usually takes about five, 10 minutes and you're ready for your next coat. So here we are again, five minutes later, spraying the offsets first and doing the rest of the panel. Um, since I used a black primer, I probably could have gotten away with one coat, but I always put on two just to be safe. And, uh, you know, any dark undercoat this would have covered pretty quick on. So again, we have to find something to do for another five, 10 minutes. Uh, I like to head down to the lunchroom, see we have a pie there on the table, ooh, a cookie. Um, so yeah, find something to do while that paint dries. You can go do some other work. It's nice when you have two booths going, you can kind of go back and forth between them. Um, I like to wander around the shop sometimes, see what's going on, but uh, you don't want to get too close to anybody else because you'll get suckered into uh, helping you out on something like this, the TR6 restoration, and trust me, you don't want to be suckered into that job. But it's time to head back to the booth and throw on our clear coat. So before I put the clear on, what I'm going to do is just run the tack rag over it to pick up any debris that might have fallen onto the surface while I'm puttering around. Usually nothing, but it's more just a precautionary thing. And I'll just put my tack rag down here, and here we go. Start off with my offset, so inside this quarter panel edge, and then try to do 50% on the rest of the panel. And you might be wondering why I'm not blending this color out. Generally on black you can get away with not blending. Black metallics are sort of hit and miss. I know this color and I know it's a very good match. And for you know customer pay jobs where they're trying to save a bit of money, generally we won't charge for a blend. And you'd have to have a pretty, pretty sharp eye to be able to spot out any color difference. So if it was my car, I'd be pretty happy with not blending this color out. So after about 5-10 minutes, you're ready for your second coat of clear. Again, offsets first. And spray it again with 50% overlap. So it has to flow out and look like you want it to when it's done. So spray it like you mean it. But just try not to get any runs in it because that just sucks. And when you're done, you should have a beautiful textured finish like this. As I said, textured, uh, it should match the factory look. You obviously don't want to have a flat quarter and a textured door. Kind of silly, so. And in my experience, I've always found the only way to get that flat finish is to sand it all down and polish it anyway. Uh, or over reduce the hell out of the clear, and then you're pretty well left with no clear on it, so. You know, it's kind of a lose-lose, but uh, at any rate, I am pretty happy with the way this one turned out. So leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. Later.